Hi everyone, thanks for watching my channel again. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also share this video. And today we're gonna to be making one of my famous, well not famous, but one of my uh, favorite homemade meals, which is Atlantic salmon, homemade mashed potatoes, and asparagus. So hopefully you guys like it the way I do my stuff. Hopefully I can inspire you to do it like that because it be bursting with flavor, trust me. So. I love you all so much and stay safe and please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. You know, I'm an upcoming YouTuber, so all the support and help is greatly appreciated and all the views definitely is helping. So I love y'all so much. Thank you so much and stay safe and here we go. All right, y'all. So I gave y'all a different view so we can get started. And first we're going to uh, make our butter marinade. So that's with two sticks of butter, you can see. And I'm going to add minced garlic, um, salt and pepper, pepper, and salt, salt, and olive oil. And I prefer lemon pepper as well. That just adds a little kick to it. And also, you can't forget your accent. If anybody know how to cook, then you know that you gotta have accent with everything. So those are the ingredients that's gonna go in this pot. And we're gonna make that butter marinade. Also put white wine in my stuff too. If you want to be a little gourmetish or whatever restaurant style, add a little white cooking wine to a white wine vinegar. It's really good too. See that? All oh, this gonna get melted down. Look at that. How big that is. Big as my hand. And that's what I call salmon. Boop, 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 boop.
Sorry, y'all, maybe sweating a little bit. That's because it's hot. And they say if you can't take the heat, to get out the kitchen. And I can take it. So I'm in here sweating. So we took the skin off of that salmon filet. So I you wash all my fish off. I probably didn't need to, but that's just me. Take this one off too. It's usually easy to peel off sometimes, but sometimes you gotta get a knife sometimes to get the rest of it off. So by you already adding salt and pepper to your butter marinade that's currently cooking on the stove, um, you just put a tad, a tinch of salt and pepper on. I put a, tad, a, a little razzle dazzle of salt and pepper on my fillets because there's already a, um, enough seasoning in the butter marinade. So just put, I'm gonna show y'all right now. See, that's it. Turn it over. Oh, that's it. And salt, I mean pepper. It's not gonna be salt in it because I did not put a lot of salt. The, the majority of the salt is in the butter marinade. I just put, I always like just a little tad bit on my uh, fish as well. Just me prefer. Ain't gotta do that. And I also sprinkle lemon juice, real lemon juice. You can use the lemon juice in a bottle as well, but I just use real lemons. Y'all see how they look? So while my potatoes are boiling, while my potatoes are boiling and my um, asparagus is in the oven, this is just going to marinate in this butter garlic sauce. So you see all that? It look good. And it's just going to soak in there. And then I'm going to sear it. I'm going to sear both of these fillets in the skillet with this same sauce. A little bit of this same sauce you don't have to pour all of that in your skillet just it's going to be seared and cooked with that so you'll see everything at the end hope you guys like it stay tuned uh, my asparagus so i'm going to cut these and i'm going to show you how i season my asparagus So for my asparagus, I put um, salt and pepper. Where's my pepper? Oh. Salt and pepper. And powder. And then when it comes out of the oven, because I cook it in the oven, I put uh, shredded cheese on it. It don't matter which type of cheese you use. This is actually the Mexican style blend. I thought I had some regular uh, shredded cheese or shredded cheese but I had the Mexican style so it really don't matter it's all gonna taste good it's all cheese
forgot. I put um, a touch of this on there. Garlic and herb seasoning. And a little of red pepper. A little bit. Only a little bit. You don't want it hot. really pop that same butter marinade that I gave you all that I uh, told you about in the beginning I just pour a little bit of that over my asparagus And you want to set your asparagus in the oven. I think in an oven, I set it in there for about uh, 35 minutes because I like a certain crisp to mine. So about 35 minutes, not burnt, but a little crisp. Now I'm gonna show you how I do my potatoes. Now for my potatoes, I put in salt and pepper, garlic and herb seasoning, Garlic and herb, you can never ever go wrong with homemade mashed potatoes, never. And I don't know if y'all do this, but it's preferably me. I put a little cream cheese. Definitely butter about, about a stick and a half, maybe two. I don't know, I like a lot of butter. And sour cream. I promise you, if you try it this way with those ingredients, your mashed potatoes are gonna always stick and people are gonna be telling you to make those mashed potatoes over and over and over and over and over again, trust me. So when those get done boiling, I'll show you the finished product. See y'all soon. All right, y'all, for the potatoes, we're going to put salt, pepper, Garlic and herb seasoning. A little accent. butter I'm a butter man so I put about a stick and a half maybe two cream cheese yeah cream cheese a little touch of that about a two tablespoons look like I guess <laughs> and sour cream and sour cream Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm gonna mix all that up together.
I say the choice of wine to have with this is a Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Joel Gap. That's what I mess with. All right, we got that butter marinade up in there. They got real, real hot. So now we're gonna put our first piece of fish. That looks good, y'all. And put the second piece in there. And you're supposed to sear this for about five minutes. 